little late to starting this reading vlog as I'm already 100 pages into the book that I'm reading for this video, but as a reader, I think it's a crime that I've never read one of his books before. So I'm dipping my toes into Stephen King. I'm 100 pages in, like I said, I'm on part two. I was scared to start this video and to start this book because it's an intimidating read. Like it's just massive and he's such a popular, popular author that I was scared that I wouldn't like it. But lucky for me, <laughs> I'm loving it. His writing style is so easy to latch on to. And there's a little bit of humor in this that I'm liking. I love our main character. He's so sweet and gentle and like this cute English teacher that I am adoring right now. Our main character, Jake, is an English teacher and he frequently visits this diner in town. And the owner of the diner one day is looking young, 50 years old, looks good. He's serving all the food to his patrons. Like he's, he's rocking it. But then the next day, Jake goes to the diner and the owner has aged many years. Jake kind of gets sucked into this time traveling job, I guess. There are some elements of history that I'm not as knowledgeable on, so there are some things where I'm like, I don't know who that is and I don't know what he's talking about, but it's 1958 and I'm just gonna assume it's someone who lived in 1958. Those are my thoughts right now. I'm on part two and now Jake is actually going into the past for the foreseeable future. That was an odd sentence. He's going there for the next few years to try and see if he can change history. First Stephen King book and I'm feeling good. Hi you guys, I made it to page 200 and I got a lot of reading done yesterday which is really nice. There is some landscaping going on outside so I'm sorry about the noise. Let's start with the writing style and how I'm liking it. One, super easy. There is that comedic relief in this high stress situation that Jake is going through which I'm really liking, but Stephen King is a wordy guy. He loves words because <laughs> some things I do think are a little over explained, but the description is really nice. So I'm liking that he's describing everything very clearly. It is just very wordy. Again, not a bad thing. I'm actually quite enjoying that, but it is a lot of words. <laughs> It's a lot of words. Another thing that I think is really cool is Derry, the town that Jake slash George, I'm gonna interchange his name. He, he's Jake, but he goes by George. Derry is a fictional town, which I did not know. So I had to look it up. I was like, I kind of want to get a visual of this town. Like it's described very eerie and I have seen the movie It. So it made a lot of sense. There are a lot of connections to his other books, which I think is really cool. So this town Derry is in other works of his, which is something I appreciate as a reader. Like that is so cool. And it makes me want to read his other books just to be back in this town. And they're actually on page 180, I noticed there was a reference, which I assume this is a reference to it because he's in this like ironworks place with a collapsed chimney and he hears this voice that someone's like calling his name and like luring him in. One quote says, time doesn't matter in here and here time just floats away. Isn't the whole like there's like floating is a big thing <laughs> in it. A cool reference, like I'm assuming that's a reference to it, but that's really neat to me. So I love things like that. And Jake as a main character is very organized and likes things a certain way. He's a little type A and he's like taking all these notes about like the town and the time that he's in and he's very calculated and I like that and I think he is the perfect character for the situation that he's in. Like he's in a high stress situation, you know? He's literally trying to change history and I think that is so stressful and it's a complete culture shock to be thrown back so many years. So I am really enjoying Jake as a main character a lot. I'm loving this book. I think again it is very wordy but it's also when you take your time to absorb and appreciate the writing style it all is just fitting together so perfectly like this I, it's not even this world like this um setting and time frame like that is so enjoyable to me. Sorry I just keep like gushing about it. I'm liking it but I'm gonna continue reading. I'll update in another 100 pages and see you then. Okay, we need another connection <laughs> because I was googling it characters because they keep mentioning the two kids that Jake talked to earlier. Jake like talked to this kid named Beverly and Richie and those two kids are like the main characters in it so that's very interesting. I mean it's not that interesting because it's like it's Stephen King, it's his world, it's his 
characters like they're bound to pop up in other books but I think it's cool that he did it that was neat y'all are at a very weird angle right now but just go with it I I'm too lazy to move my camera so I made it to page 300 another update well I guess technically 296 is where I'm at I have feelings and thoughts <laughs> you know I don't know a lot about Stephen King but Jake is also talking to us because he's kind of writing his memoir and like his experience time traveling and sometimes he'll like break that fourth wall and like communicate with the reader which I really like but it also kind of feels like we're getting hints and like hints of Stephen King like I can't tell between Jake and Stephen King like it, they feel like the very very similar people because it's like Jake will talk to us but it's obviously Stephen King's writing. I like it when the narrator is breaking the fourth wall and like talking to the reader. So that's a nice element. And right now, so Jake has done a few of his things. I don't want to really talk about the plot because I don't want to spoil anything. Like I'm going into this book blind and if you haven't read a Stephen King book or if you haven't read this book yet, I want you to go into it blind. So I won't get too deep into the plot, but he just left the eerie town for the second time, the dairy town, and now he's in Dallas. And we're following him now from years 1960 to 1963, leading up to November 1963. He has three years left before 1963. So he's taken up a substitute teaching because he's a teacher in the future. <laughs> and like he's doing things to kind of create a life in the past. And I have a lot left. <laughs> Let me do some quick math actually. So there are 849 pages I believe. So I have 553 pages left and I want to finish it in the next day Sunday in the next six days. So divided by six. I have to read 92 pages a day <laughs> to finish this by Saturday because I actually the day that I finish it is the day that I want to post this video. So I gotta get reading. So I'm gonna go downstairs and read, I'm gonna try to read 50 pages right now and then I'll try and read 50 pages later, but I need to kick this book into high gear if I wanna post this video soon. So that's it, let's go get in the mood, read a book. Four hundred page update. I'm still really enjoying it. Thoughts and feelings haven't really changed. I think that the progression of this book has gone beautifully. I'm really liking Jake's character development because you're kind of seeing him go through these waves and different kinds of feelings about him. I'm really enjoying the time that he's in. He's loving the 60s and he doesn't want to leave. Yet you kind of know in the back of your head he's probably going to go back to 2011 at some point. He's 100% set on doing what he's supposed to do. Stopping the assassination. But he's also creating a life and we're getting to see that. A romance? A romance. I was not expecting that in this book at all, but you know what? Stephen King knew one day that I would read this book and he put a romance in this book. He knows that's my favorite genre, so thank you. All joking aside, I really like Sadie. She definitely knows something is up. She's getting a little suspicious of him. It is kind of hard, I think, to go into the past and then literally tell no one about your your own past and like your family and everything, especially when you are from the future. Like that's gotta be a really weird dynamic. She doesn't really know anything about him. And I have a feeling that something's gonna go wrong. I feel like it can't be a happy story all around and they're in a really good spot right now. And I feel like things are gonna go downhill. Now I do have some notes on my phone that I wanna go over. Like I was saying, I love how much Jake loves this decade. He's in a town called Jody and he's definitely falling in love with this town. He's referencing the town and the people as his home. And I do think that's really like sad and unfortunate that he's probably gonna have to go back to 2011. I wonder how that's gonna work out there or is he gonna stay in 1960? I have no idea, but I'm very curious about where this is going and like what he's gonna do post his job. Like once he does his the thing that he's in the past for, once he does that, once he changes history, if he does, where is he going to go? Like what's he going to decide? Once I do finish this, what do you think I should read next? If there is a book or a series from Stephen King you think I should read, please comment down below. I would love to know. I've got that much left. So what page am I on? 507 page update. I am more than halfway through. I feel like I am a part of this time traveling journey that Jake is going through and that's what I want in a book. I want to make, I want to 
feel like I'm there and I really really do. The past 100 pages haven't been my favorite. I think it's gone a little bit slower the past 100 pages like 400 to 500 was a little bit harder to get through as in like I didn't really feel like picking up the book but now I'm getting into a really good spot. I can't really remember when this started. Um, I would have to find this specific page but Jake, our main character, made the move from Jody, the town that he's been living in for the past few years. He's built a community there and it's now like he considers it home. He's moved from that to Fort Worth, Texas, I think, or somewhere in, near Dallas, Texas. And he's kind of miserable, like he's not having a good time. And that's how I felt as a reader too. I was like, this is not a fun section to read. Like these chapters are not fun because he's not having fun and he's not having a good time. And I felt that through Jake, like I felt how like miserable he's been. But since he's really motivated to complete this task, I get why he's doing it, but it has made the the pacing slow down a little bit. I, I'm not a history buff. I know the basic history from like high school and college, what they teach us in those. Some of the things happening currently are a little lost on me. I honestly don't care to learn about them like I have no interest really in learning about this topic or like John F Kennedy's like his assassination like I really don't care to go out and like google information and like learn more about it because I'm kind of learning it through this book and even if this book is fiction I feel like I'm learning something but there are names and points in history and things that are being mentioned and I'm like I have no like that that means nothing to me. I know it's a part of history so like that's just me being uneducated on the topic. I'm glad that Stephen King did the research for me because I'm learning a lot. A theme that I've noticed is Jake obviously he's from the future and he knows what we know is history. Like he's learned history through classes or through his own research. Like he knows history just by learning it, not actually being in history. And now that he's in, literally in the past, he is living history right now. And things impact the people in the 60s way, way different than they do in 2011. I don't think I meant that the way I just said it. Like Jake is watching people in his life in the 60s experience these big historical moments and they're such a big deal to these people. But obviously since Jake is from the future, he knows the end, like the outcome of that situation. So he's kind of like not bothered by it. But him witnessing the people in the 60s go through it, he's like, oh, obviously like we don't learn about how impactful this is. You just learn about the event itself. Oh, and look, I found this, this receipt was in it for when I bought it. I bought it in July of 2023. So last July at Tattered Cover here in Colorado Springs. Unfortunately, this tattered cover bookstore is closed now. I'm changing the sheets on my bed, so we're gonna ignore the laundry, but I'm on page 600. So much has happened and actually a lot of sad and disturbing things have happened that it's making me very interested, obviously for the end of the book. Like I'm very, very interested, already kind of making predictions on like what Jake is gonna decide to do because something happened to let's say a loved one of his and I'm wondering like is he going to go back to the present to redo what just happened? I have no notes to say right now, like I have nothing to say on the, the characters or anything going on, like it's really just Jake now taking care of this person and also trying to do his his task but there's so many outcomes that could happen that I'm very interested to see like what outcome Stephen King decides to write so that's it um now I have to go update for my patreon so you guys I'm so close sorry the lighting is gonna be weird I have 100 pages left I'm on page 750 things are happening and it's kind of scary it definitely gets my blood pressure up a little bit like there's a lot going on and it makes me a little anxious the other main character in this in the love interest just got involved and she's from the 60s she kind of knows that jake is from the future and is like helping him but you guys it's actually so scary my heart this morning was pounding because of whatever everything that was going on the first 600 pages honestly slow but in a good way. Like, I'm enjoying it. I like George, Jake, whatever. And it's just going at, like, a really good 
pace. I have a hair appointment today. Then I'll be back and I'm gonna binge read 100 pages. That's all I have left. So I can definitely finish it today. I'm very excited to so the outro of this video will be soon. My final thoughts, rating, everything. I finished last night. Okay, first rating, I'm giving this four out of five stars. I thoroughly enjoyed the journey that this book was. I did think it was a little lengthy, I think 800 pages. Like looking back at it, there were some parts or chapters or scenes that I think could have been shortened or even done away with but overall adored this book i loved the characters i loved the town jody that we really got a good feel for and the atmosphere of the 60s was a lot of fun to be in and you know the ending was great but it was not what i wanted <laughs> which is totally fine i can i can appreciate a really good ending and still it not be my favorite or the outcome that i wanted i felt so sad for Jake, our main character. Like everything that he went through, he had to end up, no, that's a spoiler too. Everything that he went through to then do what he did at the end, he didn't do anything wrong, but because of circumstances, he was forced to do something. And I hate that he had to do that. And I'm really sad because I'm a romantic at heart. And a big part of this book is the romance and love story within it. So I was really upset that that didn't turn out the way I wanted, but I did it. I read my first Stephen King book and I feel like this one wasn't like the best or like the one I should have started out with. I feel like there's so many other horror or mystery or thriller books that he's written that are way more popular that I should have read first. But for my first Stephen King book, this one made a really good impression. So it does make me want to pick up more of his books. I just don't know what to read next. So if you have any suggestions because I liked this one, what else do you think I would like from him? Please comment down below and let me know. But I'm gonna put this on my shelf. I'm all done, I'm very happy. This took 10 days to read. So if anyone's wondering how long it took me, it took 10 days. So I was, I was in it. And I found myself this morning wanting to pick it back up, but obviously I finished last night. So that's a really good feeling to have post book. Four out of five and Dobie's barking. So that's, I gotta go.